Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how I made a naked body vase. So let's just get right into it. Okay guys, so to make this body vase, I'm going to be using an empty Olay body wash bottle because it like curves in in the middle a little and this is going to give me a very minimal hourglass body shape that I want for my vase and you guys can of course pick whatever body type you want for your vase. The first thing that I'm going to do is outline how I want to distribute the body proportions on this bottle. First, I'm going to draw in the belly button then where I want the boobs to go, and then around where I want her legs to start. And lastly, where I'm going to cut off the top of the bottle. I'm going to cut off the top and I'm just going to use a knife to do this. And there we go, we have the top off. And if you have a little bit of leftover residue in the bottle like I do, you can just wash it out. Now I'm going to trim along the rim of the top to make it more even. And make sure to take off this plastic stuff. And then there we go guys, we have the base of our body vase. So for this project, I'm gonna be using Daz clay because I love this clay and I know that it won't crack against the plastic when it starts to dry. So I would suggest using this type of clay. You can get it on Amazon or any other kind of clay that you know won't crack against like the plastic when it dries. Okay, so start off by taking a nice chunk of clay and then start wedging it so you can warm it up. Then take off medium sized chunks, flatten them in your hands, and then press them up against the plastic and flatten them a little more as you work in the clay. I'm not quite sure how to explain this, but I left this in real time so that you guys could see how I worked it in. Make sure to do the whole bottle like this, and I did everything but the bottom, and if your clay starts to get a little dry while you're doing this, just add water to your clay and it'll add moisture back into it. Now that I have the whole bottle covered except the bottom, I'm going to start scraping off the extra chunks that are around the bottom using my loop tool. I'm also going to be scraping off the extra clay that's at the top of the bottle. Next I'm going to start smoothing out the clay because right now it's looking a little rough. Um, I'm just going to be taking some water in my hands and then just blending everything out just using my fingers and this does take a while to blend out but it will eventually smooth out. So this is how we're looking like now and it looks way better than it did before and the clay did move a little bit because we were blending everything out so now I'm just going to scrape off the extra from the bottom again. Before I start adding in more clay to define her body, I'm going to outline where I want her legs to go, her belly button, and her boobs. So this is my first attempt ever at making a body vase, so I'm just going to let you guys know that I winged it. I started adding clay to where I wanted her legs to be more defined, you know, to give her some thickness. Also added clay to her sides to give her some hips and this part's a little bit blurry or it is blurry but I added a huge chunk of clay to the back to also make her a little bit thicker back there but this still isn't her butt yet also I know it's looking a little wonky right now but the key to everything is going to be blending slash smoothing everything out
Once you're at a point where you see this like semi coming together, scrape off the extra clay from the bottom again. Okay, so now we're gonna start working on the butt and I took a chunk of clay around the size that I wanted her butt to be and molded it into a circle. Then I'm going to cut the edges of the circle off so you could see I did one side, flipped it over and then I cut the other side and we're gonna use these two pieces for her butt because they're like, you know, semi round and then just add them to the body vase and press them in. All right, so I'm gonna take some long pieces of clay and kind of wrap them around her butt at an angle to make it blend in a little bit more. And once again, the key to this is blending. So after blending a lot, this is how we're looking like now and it looks so much better. And here you guys can see what it looks like from the side view and what she's looking like from the back. And this whole time I'm constantly blending slash smoothing out the vase everywhere and also redefining the legs a lot because you know since I'm blending it kind of blends away. Okay so now we're gonna add her boobs and once again I took a small chunk of clay and I molded it into a circle and we're gonna do basically what we did for her butt. I cut the edges of the circle to use for her boobs and then added them to the vase. Once again, I took some pieces of clay and wrapped them around her boobs to blend them into the clay a little bit better and then just smooth everything out with water. And after smoothing everything out for like ever, this is what she's looking like now and she's got two boobs. And you could see from the top how it looks like here and from the side how it looks like. But just keep blending everything out until you get your desired look. Okay guys, so this is how our body face is looking like now and make sure to do any last minute touches because we're just about ready to let her dry for a few days. And for me, I'm just gonna be adding in her belly button that I had blended away. So I let her dry for three days and I should have given you guys a full 360 view because she dried beautifully and didn't crack because Daz Clay is amazing. So now it's time to paint and I'm gonna paint her whole body a charcoal color. You guys can obviously paint yours whatever color you want. You can do a neutral or a pop of color or a metallic, you know, whatever your heart desires. Here's what she's looking like after one coat and I only did one coat of the charcoal because I really liked how some of the white peeked through in some spots and how I guess it kind of gave a little bit of a worn out look. I don't know, I really liked it so I decided just to leave it at one coat and it also kind of gave it like a very chalky look to it which I really liked. I wanted to add flowers all around her body, but not like excessively, just a few flowers here and there. So I drew them in by hand with a mechanical pencil where I wanted to paint them in. And I picked three different flower shapes and did these all around her body. Now it's time to paint the flowers in.
And this is how my body vase is looking like now and I really love it. I think it's so cute. Alright guys, now it's time to seal and I did use my Deco Art Gloss Glaze to seal this to give it a glossy finish. But to be honest, I think I should have actually given this a matte finish instead just because it did have a chalky look to it and I think it would have looked better if I would have kept it matte rather than glossy but I can't help myself. I always want to make everything glossy. Um, but I, you know, I still love it. And there we go guys, we're done. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. I love my body vase. And I'm so happy that I finally did this because I've been wanting one for so long. And I really hope that you guys try this out. I actually use my body vase to like hold my paintbrushes and stuff, but you could also like put like plant propagations or you know, whatever you wanna like put in there or you know, just for display. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, let me know if you have any questions and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!